All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all. You know, you are not expecting me to be on air, but you know, somebody of you uh, post uh, a link for Abdul. He's trying to refute me. I'm not going to play his video. Um, so you know, you know them. You play their video, they claim copyright over it. So the link of his video is down in the info of uh, this uh, video. You can click on it and you can leave a comment for him because we will laugh a lot. This guy, he was supposed trying to refute me about something very stupid in the Quran. And he was reading this verse. And this guy, supposedly, he teach Arabic online. And supposedly, he speak Arabic. I'm sure like, he speak Arabic better than me. So he's, uh, the title of his video, A Christian Prince Learn Arabic. Something like that, you know. Actually, I copy the, the title as it is in his video. Now, he is saying to me here, uh, as I said, I'm not going to play his video, so they don't claim copyright. Otherwise, I, I will have no problem to play his video, actually. Uh, he said that this verse, which we are talking about here, which is saying that Allah, he created the day and the night, and the sun and the moon, and each one of them is swimming. Now, <laughs> the mistake there is horrible, and it's a very clear proof that Islam is a false religion. Now, he said, in my video, I said that the day and the night, you know, the night, you cannot create the night because the night is the absence of the light. He said, no, night is not the darkness. He said that. He said, learn Arabic. <laughs> okay, so what is the night then? If night is not the darkness, what is the night? Abdul, what is the night? What is the day for your God? And what is the night for your God? As long as the night is not the darkness. So what it is? It is a physical object? So what night is? Explain to us. You know, here we go. So you made a video, but you did not give us an answer. You are, or you are saying uh, the day and the night is, uh, the night is not uh, the darkness. It's not, why it's not the darkness? What it is then? Now, you said learn Arabic. I'm going to go to the dictionary and everybody is going to laugh at you. I'm going to show the dictionary in Arabic and I'm going to show the dictionary in English. And I have the link down there. So people, those who they even don't know Arabic, they can copy the text and paste in Google. This is the dictionary. Let us go to the dictionary first. Uh, this is your Islamic dictionary, Al Ma'ani. What it says here, let me zoom in. Al Layl. Al Layl is the darkness between two brackets of the night. Quran word. Do you see it? So, what do you mean it's not the darkness? And again, the link is down there. This is not a Christian website, this is a Muslim website. Now, let me show you in Arabic. All right. The dictionary in Arabic. All right. This is the diction, the definition and meaning of a layl huh? from the dictionary of Majma'ul Ma'ani at Jamia. You claim you speak Arabic, right? And you teach Arabic. Let's see how good you are. Here we go. Ajamu uh, layarin, and here he give definition. Ma yaqubu nahar min al What come after the day? Of darkness you said it's not darkness <laughs> and he continues saying and it is which means start from the sunset until the sunrise I mean you are fooling you are fooling who you you claim you speak Arabic but it's very embarrassing what do you want to say you want to say your, your Quran is a stupid so what do you want to say oh Christian Prince learn Arabic the, the night is not the darkness so what is the night then it's an island in Hulunulu, and you can read all the Arabic dictionaries. Huh? This is Al Mu'ajjam Al Wasit. Al Mu'ajjam Al Wasit. Al Laylu Ma Yaqub Al Nahar Min Al Zalam, Wa Huwa Min Maghrib Al Shams Ila Tulwaiha. You know what? Let me go to Google Translation. Hold on, so everybody can see and get you busted more. Hold on. I mean, what a bunch of kids! You are you are an Arabic teacher. <laughs> I, I believe you are an Arabic teacher, yeah. But you are trying to cover, you know, the the 
uh, uh, the comedy of your stupid Quran. Okay, let's go to Google Translation. Translate. All right. Let us open the screen so everybody can see. All right. This is Google Translation. I'm going to copy paste as it is. No addition. Here we go. Here we go. Let me do it. Al-Laylu. Okay. I will copy the whole line as it is. Copy. Go to Google Translate. Paste. All right. Night, what follows by the day from darkness. And from the sunrise. Actually, the translation is wrong. From the sunset to the sunrise. So why are you lying? All Islamic dictionaries say that the night is the darkness, except you. <laughs> but by the way, there we have two. We have more than one mistake. It's not only the darkness is not created. You missed the point. Your your God, He made two poopoo there. Muhammad, aka Allah, He made two poopoo. The first one, He claimed that God He created the the the, the night, which is stupid to say. And the second poopoo is that he claimed that all of each one of them swim. Each one of those objects swim the day, the night, the moon, the sun. But this is stupid to say. There's nothing is swimming. There's no day and night are swimming. It's a stupid statement. But in order to cover the, the, the problem, you have a new Quran. You say to me, okay, you know what? This is not the not the darkness. How each one of them is swimming? The night and the day they are swimming, and the sun and the moon. So we have four objects, all of them they are swimming. The, the idea of a swimming, by the way, it is taken from the, the Sabian who believe that every uh, you know, like uh, 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 object in the sky is taking a ride by a ship. It, this is why you see in the ancient drawing, you will see like the moon in a ship, the sun in a ship, the stars in the ship, every star is in a ship, uh, the zodiac, etc., they are in a ship. Why? Because they believe that they are swimming. And your Quran is using exactly the same terms and same conditions, and your Quran believe that the night and the day, they are object. The sun and the moon, they are different objects. This is why in different verses in the Quran, your God, he says that Allah, he extend the shadow. I mean, what do you mean extend the shadow? <laughs> shadow? <laughs> Allah is the one who extend the shadow? Huh? And if he wish, he can make it fixed? What does that mean? All right. Let us see. Alam tara alam tara ila rabbika kayfa kayfa madda dhil like what translation didn't you see how your god he extended the shade or the shadow and how you can say that how you can say that how what kind of god he say that he is the one who extend the shade or the shadow that's stupid statement. You can change the translation, the translation, any anything you wish. You know. Have you not considered the work of your Lord? This is a Muslim translation. How he extend the shade. So your God, he think the shade is an object, and this is a very stupid statement. What do you mean extend the shade? How you can extend the shade? What do you mean? The shade does not exist. So if we have a tree and we have the light of the moon coming from behind, it's Allah is extending the shade. What is that? That because it's an ignorance, you do not know how the shade is happening. Very simple thing. I mean, you do not need to be a genius to find out that the shade is, is happening because of the light. But your God think that the shade is a miracle. It's a work of Allah. 
I can make a work of Allah then I have a flashlight I can put my finger in the front of the flashlight I can make my finger like 100 meter uh, tall so this is a miracle right and then in the video this guy he said can you make a verses like, like can you make Quran like this Quran Abdul the, the, the Arab at the time of Muhammad they used to laugh at your Quran They used to laugh at it. I can show you tons of verses. This is why the Arab they keep saying to him, "Give us a, give us a, <laughs> a, give us a miracle." If the Quran was a miracle, then there is no need to give a miracle. And let me ask you: When the Shaitan he gave your prophet satanic verses, I am not going to make Quran for you because whatever I say, you are going to say, "Oh, it's not good." I know you are not qualified, but let me get you busted. When your prophet received satanic verses, why your prophet did not notice that this is not from Allah? According to all Islamic interpretation, after Muhammad he recited the satanic verses, the angel Jibreel came to his home, not right away, a while after, and he said to him, Muhammad, Khabibi Muhammad, what you did? This is not this is not Quran, this is not from Allah, this is from Shaitan. But don't worry. Allah will take it off. Okay, let me ask you a question. Who is more qualified to know what is from Allah and what is not? You or Muhammad? For sure you will say you because you are an Arabic teacher. Muhammad is an uh, illiterate. He's, a, he's, a, he's a not uh, smart, right? Say it, say it. Here we go. You're a prophet himself. The one who made the Quran, he claimed that he did not notice that this is not from Allah. So what do you mean make Quran? If I am a follower of the shaitan, as you Muslims believe, shaitan can give me Quran right now, and even your prophet, he will not even be, you know, uh, uh, like uh, find out this is not Quran. Shaitan, he throw in the desire and the tongue of Muhammad, satanic verses, and Allah is going to delete it? How Allah is going to delete it? And what 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 verses he delete? Can you, do you know? What, what exactly Allah he deleted? Let us know. So if the angels you breathe did not come to Muhammad and told him this is from shaitan You Muslims will not even notice that this is the word of shaitan was cast in the mouth of Muhammad And this is why Salman Rushdie a long time ago. He made a book. It's called satanic verses based on this And the story all over, you know Islamic interpretation where Muhammad he bowed down to the idols. He's a hypocrite man hypocrite in the front of the idol worship or he worship idols in the front of those who uh, 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 Sabian, he is a Sabian. In front of the Jews, he is a Jew. When he is with the with the with the, with the Jews, he want to follow the Torah. When he is with the Sabian, he worship the stars. When he is with the with the uh, the Arab, he you know he bow down to their idols. And when he get busted, so he claimed that Shaitan is the one who put the satanic verses in his mouth, and Allah is going to take it off. Now, as long as you are asking me to make Quran like the Quran of Allah. Let me ask you, isn't it Allah himself is copying the Quran from Umar al-Khattab? There's some reference says that Allah, he took at least 10 uh, 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 chapters or verses in the Quran from Umar. Look what Umar he said. Let me find you the hadith. I will, I will find you the one which all the Muslims agree upon. Umar, he said, my my Lord Allah, he agreed with me in three things. What? Allah agreed with me in three things. What does that mean? It is it is the verse which is said by Omar. Muhammad he copied and he claimed that this is coming from Allah. And this is why Omar he noticed that those are <laughs> this is what he said. The hijab, the Kaaba, the prayer, direction of the prayer, huh? A threatening to divorce the wives of Muhammad when they have a fight with him. All are those verses are made by Omar. And Omar he said, Allah send them as I said. As I said. Which mean exactly? 
let me let me find you the other hadith. Wait, hold on. Okay, hold on. <laughs> uh, Omar is making Quran. Allah is copying Quran from Omar. I mean, how horrible this is! What uh, you know? Allah is copying Quran. Huh? Oh, really? Here we go. Let us see. Yeah, let me show you this. So here, this hadith says that I agreed with Allah in three things. This is a false translation. You speak Arabic, right? Read with me. It says, "Wafaqani Rabbi fi thalath." So if you are an honest Muslim, send an email for those people asking them why you are lying. It doesn't say that Allah, agree, you know, I agree with Allah. It says, "Wafaqani Rabbi fi thalath." Huh? But let me show you the other one. All right. Omar is saying. <laughs> Guys, read with me. For for the sake of Allah, read with me, please. Allah he sent the verses as I say it. Every verse, Omar he said. Allah, he copied it supposedly. It's Allah, not Muhammad. No, this is Allah. So th this verse, or he is counting the verses one by one, and then he said, the same as I had said was revealed. So what do you mean make Quran like the Quran? Allah himself is copying from a man. His name is Umar al-Khattab. Why Allah did not make those verses before Umar, he said them? Who is who is God here? The God of Muhammad, obviously Omar. In different story, it says that uh, Omar, uh, Allah agree with him in ten things. Some they say seven. I'm showing you the one which all the Muslims agree upon that at least three things. Allah He took from Omar as it is. As I said. And what do you want me to make Quran about? Like to say that uh, the, the 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 sperm of the man will make a baby uh, uh, from a con uh, will, will become a congealed blood? Uh, you are challenging me about what? To make a verse says the shish kebab. Stupid verse. Should I put uh, shish kebab and hummus and it uh, and uh, and falafel together and make a verse for you? The Quran is a hummus falafel. There is no meaning. And the, the chapter you just talk about, it says it clearly that the sun and the, and the moon and the night and the day they are swimming. You lie about it is not darkness. We got you busted from the Islamic dictionary and the links are down there. So this is how silly the Muslims are. And you know what? As long as you are a person who speak Arabic, why you don't call me life? Call me life, you know, get me busted. Well, actually, this guy he had a video, uh, but I, I, uh, uh, I better not to talk about it, otherwise, he will take it down. Leave it later, later when I come back from my trip. You know, I will show you in his video how he got his god busted. One of his videos is very stupid. It's a true, by the way, what he said is true, but he got his, his god busted without knowing. But I will leave it for that because if I speak about it right now, he will take it down. So, you know, Muslims, if you really think you have a religion, let us know. Oh, what I see that religion is made by a man. His name is Omar. Omar is the one who made the hijab. Why, guys, anyone uh, anyone knows how, how Omar created the hijab? If not Omar, women, they will be show, women, they will be showing their breast until now or the Muslims. Muhammad he refused always to do hijab. Why? It was Umar who forced Muhammad to make the hijab happen. Umar was a very rude man and he didn't respect Muhammad. He made fun of him. And Umar obviously 
he was intimidating Muhammad and Muhammad was not man enough to stand for him so whatever he say he do it for him imagine your wife she go to the bathroom and Omar he is watching her ass doing poo poo and he talked to her making fun of her and saying to her oh we know you Sauda we know that this is you Sauda I mean look how disgusting this man imagine your wife she is going out to answer the call of nature and you know this is a, like a desert there is no bathroom so I don't blame her where she would go and now your friend is coming and what he do he harass your wife when she is doing poo poo and then he get inside the house and he say to his to, to he say to uh, to Muhammad you better order your wives to cover themselves man I just saw soda outside and she is doing uh, you know let me get you the hadith Let me get you the hadith. Here we go. Aisha reported that the wives of Allah Messenger, maybe both etc., used to go out in the cover of the night. Okay, no problem. For easing themselves to do poo poo. Allah Messenger asked Omar uh, al Khattab, he said, read with me carefully. Omar al Khattab said, Allah Messenger, ask your lady to observe veil. But Allah Messenger, Ignore it. You don't want to do it. Don't do it. All right. So they went out, Sauda, daughter of Zama, the wife of Allah Messenger. So Sauda is going out to do poo poo. During one of the nights when it was dark, she was tall, etc. Omar called her saying, Sauda will recognize you. I mean, what? This is the reason women they wear hijab because the prophet friend Omar is chasing his wife when she is doing poo poo and he said to her, We recognize your ass. Sauda, this is your ass. I know it. So Muhammad don't want to do hijab. Omar, he want hijab. Muhammad, he refused to do hijab. Omar, he want hijab because the wives of Muhammad is showing their ass. What do you mean, you know, what do you mean order them to cover themselves? Are you saying that Sauda, she was outside naked? What does that mean? She is going in the darkness. What does that mean? So don't tell me make Quran, my friend. You Muslims don't have Quran. You have a collection of he said, I said, the same as what happened with the with, with the uh, uh, with the guy who created, uh, 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 you know, uh, Allah is the best of the creators, huh? And he left Islam. Muhammad was asking his scribe to tie for him or to write for him. Uh, the Quran. Muhammad he recited verses and then he stopped now the guy he liked it so he said praise be to Allah the best of the creators <laughs> Muhammad he like it so he said to the man okay put it there the man who said but what he said just what you just said but this is what I said he said yeah yeah it just came to me the same like what the heck it came to you the same so the guy he said to himself well if Muhammad claimed to be a prophet well I am a prophet too because I am the one who said this hmm? this is a verse not made by Muhammad he copied what the scribe and this is written in your Islamic books in your books not in the Christian books not in the Jewish books not in the Hindus this is in your books and I challenge you to say it's a lie And by the way, as long you speak Arabic, and we are talking about this man, this this one, as long you are, you, you for sure you will say no. This is Allah's talking. Is the guy is not stealing? No problem. 
Okay, how you explain to me Allah saying that He is the look, look at the Muslim fast translation. It says the, the creation. It doesn't say that, it says the, the, the best, the best of the creators. Look at the liar, look at Yusuf Ali, the liar. He's trying to cover the ass of Muhammad. Read with me carefully. I will change the translator, and right away you will see how the translation changed. Do you see? The translation change. Yusuf Ali, there's no creators. As long as you speak Arabic, how you can say he is the best of the creators if there is no other creators? If I say I am the best teacher, but I am the only teacher in the world, that's mean I'm a liar. I'm exaggerating about myself. I should not say I am the best of gods unless there is other gods. The second I say I am the best God, that's mean there's other gods. That's mean I am acknowledging gods. And actually, this is what Muhammad he confirmed in another verse. Because Muhammad he compared between his God and Baal. And we know Baal is God for the pagans like your prophet. So what Muhammad he said in this chapter here? Huh? What? Do you call upon Baal and forsake the best of the creators? So who is the other creator Baal? And Allah is better than him? This is a this is a strong Arabic or this is a stupid statement. Here Allah Muhammad Aka Allah comparing between Allah and Baal, and he both are creators. Because when you say I am the best of the creators, are you going? Are you going to call upon Baal? And when Allah is the best of the creators, what does that mean? It means Baal is a creator too. But Allah is better, He do He create better. You know, I wish that the Muslims who claim that they can answer me or refute me, they have the courage to call me life. I mean, call me what you will lose. I will treat you with respect. I'm not going to uh, insult you, you know. But you Muslims, you make me upset. Go and learn Arabic. You don't know how to read Arabic. Your prophet himself did not know how to write, how to read. According to you Muslims. What about you teach your God to go and write and read? Your God himself, his Arabic is horrible. I can show you tons of mistakes in the Quran. The one who made the Quran, obviously, he did not speak good Arabic. This is why the Arab, we were making fun of him. This is why the Quran says, if they start making fun of your Quran, leave them until they stop. Right now, look at this verse. As long as we are here, let us laugh a little bit at the amazing Quran, chapter 23, verse number 14. Then we made the sperm into a clot of congealed blood. I mean, how we had are you is, is the one who made the Quran was taking hashish? Is that a hashish recipe? What do you mean the sperm became a congealed blood? Since when? Guys, excuse my language. And the other day I left my sperm in the side and I came back after five hours. I, I found a lot of a blood. What the hell? The sperm is a blood? Can you make Quran like this? No, I cannot make stupid things like this. This is a stupid statement. I want you to leave your sperm, Muslims, in the side for 10 hours and come back and make a video of it, slow, slow motion. Huh? Don't tell me you are potent like your prophet, you cannot make sperm. Make sperm and put a camera huh, 24 hours in the front of you too. Let us see what will happen. Sperm will turn into congealed blood now. And you are telling me make Quran like the Quran? And then the blood is going to turn to a clot? Are you crazy? And then the clot will become a fetus? 
which is a loop. Obviously, the one who made the Quran is a person is under the influence of hashish. Hashish wa ma adraka ma hashish. What is that? Allah extend the shade. Allah make from the sperm a congealed blood. Allah, I mean, uh, the, uh, the, hold on. Don't forget about the the uh, the sperm is coming from the backbone. By the way, I have insurance now over my backbone. What if what if something happened to me and my backbone bro broke? Huh? I mean, how I can have babies now? So your God, he never heard of something is called testicles. He think that the backbone is where the sperm is coming from. And not only that, he claimed that the women's sperm is coming from her ribs. Not actually the ribs only, the upper side of the ribs, the location of the necklace, and you speak Arabic and you teach Arabic and you know that. That is God. Women, they have a sperm since when? And the sperm is coming from the location of the necklace, which means the, the top of their breast. You know, guys, we're uh, talking about. You see, if you if you put your finger between uh, down your neck, okay. If you are a lady, if you put your finger down your neck, where your 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 uh, your ribs meet in the top, right away, down your neck, that is a taraib. The location of the necklace. So according to the Quran, women they have a sperm. And the sperm is coming from the ribs. This is why I don't want to get married. Imagine your wife; she get naked and she go to bed, and then she have orgasm, and the, the and then the, the the sperm is coming all over from her ribs. Man, that's scary. I don't want to have a woman like this. This is not what I thought about women. I'm so disappointed. I'm scared. That's why I want to stay single. And by the way, I don't want to forget. As long as you mention that the word uh, night is not darkness, hold on, hold on. Let me see you the interpretation too, because we want to see if the interpretation support you or support me. What do you think? I mean, we should do that. Okay, let's go to the interpretation. This is Ibn Kathir. This is who? This is Ibn Kathir. Hmm. It is he who has created the night and the day. Meaning, Abdul, you said I don't speak good Arabic, right? Look like Ibn Kathir like me. He don't speak good Arabic too. Meaning, the one with its darkness. Do you see it? Do you see it, Abdul? Let me make it bigger for you. Because obviously Muslims are blind. Huh? Do you see it? So what the name, what the night mean? Darkness. So don't fool, you know. And you guys, if you see the comment of the Muslims down, MashaAllah, brother, Allah, Alhamdulillah, brother, you refuted the guy. Brother, they bless you, brother. Allah bless you, brother, for refuting him. You, he refuted me? I just spanked him in the middle of the night. And I put a flashlight over his uh, bum. And the link of his video, by the way, is just down there. So click and laugh at him. Give him something, give him something. It says, go and refute him. And if you are a man, why you don't call me live on air and get me busted? And like, I, you know, I, I was like, a guy, he posted there, he said, this guy, he is refuting you. I said, really? Are you sure? Are you sure? And tomorrow I have a trip, long trip. And he said to myself, man, I'm not going to go without getting this guy a spank he deserved. I have many things to do, you know. But I cannot resist the temptation of his spanking the liars. I cannot. I need to see a shrink. I don't know what to do now. Like here we go. Like I have a lot of things. I have, uh, I have my bags is uh, ready. I mean, I want to put my clothes in, etc. I want to be sure nothing is missing. My trip is very long, and now I'm here to spank the Abdul. I mean, this is not even fair. 
And the funny, he says, can you make Quran like this? Like this? I cannot. Can you? Can you? Let me let me ask you, can you make hadith like this too? As long as we are talking about the sun and the day and the night and how they make an orbit, how they swim, my brother. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> you guys, I thought you are asleep right now. I mean, all of you are here back. What's wrong with you? Don't you sleep? Okay, let me, let me, let me tell you. You need to sleep. Otherwise, it's going to happen to you what happened to the Muslims. What will happen? You will start believing that the sperm will become a congealed blood. I'm telling you. Look. Muhammad is teaching us science. Now, I hope that he will not say to his prophet that you don't know Arabic. Don't say that. Muhammad, for sure, he know Arabic. And the proof, he speak like a Afghani boy who have no idea what he's talking about. Hmm? Read me carefully. And this is Sahih al-Bukhari. Don't tell me it's weak. Hey, Abdul, don't tell me it's weak. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. Hmm? I know you. You will say it's weak. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. Do you know al-Bukhari? Your cousin. The funny Al-Bukhari, who is not an Arab, who Muslims, they say he was blind for a certain time, yet he is the one collecting the hadith for the Muslims. And by the way, there's not a book. There's no book. It's called Al-Bukhari. All the printed book of Al-Bukhari have nothing to do with Al-Bukhari because they don't have even original book of Al-Bukhari. They have books. They claim that this is a copy of the 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 neighbor copy of the cousin copy of the brother copy of the uh, of the Abdul copy of Al Bukhari, but nobody have Al Bukhari. Anyway, let Al Bukhari alone, please. Look what your prophet he said. Once I was with the prophet. Here we go. The drama always start from there. A guy is with the prophet. I mean, horrible things are going to happen. Don't ever go with the prophet. The second you go with him, Muhammad voluntarily he will open his mouth and he will start doing poo poo. Okay, okay. So what happened, Abu Dhar? The guy, his name is Abu Dhar. All right. Once I was with the Prophet in the mosque at the time of the sunset. Okay, take a note. At the time of what? The sunset. All right. The Prophet said, Oh Abu Dhar, here we go. The Prophet voluntarily, like he have to do popo. He cannot keep his mouth shut. Oh Abu Dhar, do you know Abu Dhar? Where the sun set? You see, because Muhammad now is like he he feel like he have a duty. He cannot keep his mouth shut. He is the knowledgeable. Abu Dhar is the ignorant. Do you know? And for sure, Abu Dhar he says to him, oh, "Come on, how I know?" <laughs> I replied, "Allah and His messenger know best." I mean, come on, no way. For sure, you know better. <laughs> you are the prophet of Allah, and Allah tell you everything. So here. Muhammad claiming that what he is going to say is coming from Allah. You see, he did not say, this is my opinion. He says, the guy, he just said to him, Allah and his apostle knows best. Muhammad, he said, it goes. It goes, my friend. The sun, it goes. Hey, bye-bye, son. Bye-bye. Are you going? Yes. Uh, did your flight arrive? It goes and it prostrate underneath Allah's throne. If, 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 if. That's, that's, I mean, by the way, scientists, they discovered that this is true. There is a scientist from Russia. Her name is Olga, Olga. Hmm? And her husband, he is a Japanese scientist. He agreed with her. His name is Yama Aidulai Yama. Wait, just wait. Tomorrow they will Muslim, they will make an article and they will add tons of names of people who nobody knows, or even you know, but they fabricate articles about them the same as they do about what his name? Armstrong, he converted to Islam. But this guy, what his name, Rashid, he he called him and get them busted. Liars. So anyway, yes, my name is Olga from Russia. And right now I'm going to show you the miracle there. There's a miracle there because the Russian KGB, they were able to find it during the Soviet Union, not Union. 
that the sun every day is goes from the east to the west to sit under the throne of Allah. And Allah, he sit in the top of the sun, hoping that the sun is going to be like an egg and is going to give babies. This is a prophet of God. Can you make like this? I challenge you. Anyone can make like this? Who can make like this? And then look, look, look. The, the, the drama is not over. No. No. Muhammad explaining a verse in the Quran. Finally, Muhammad is giving interpretation. Look what he said. And that is Allah statement. And the sun run on its fixed course for a term. Oof, 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 oof. This is Allah. This is not only Muhammad. It's Allah too. Can you make Quran like this? Nobody can make Quran like this. Are you kidding me? So now we have Quran and Hadith supporting each other. That the sun goes every day and uh, do landing, uh, you know, in the airport and the throne of Allah. I mean, who can beat that? Nobody. This is amazing, astonishing. A lot of knowledge here. Uh, by the way, this is the reason usually I don't show you those amazing things in the screen because I'm afraid that you Christians, Jews, Hindus, Buddhas, you might convert to Islam if you see the knowledge of the Prophet. That's that's beyond. You know, if you go on YouTube, you will search, you will find a thousands of videos speaking about the sun movement. How come no one, none of them is quoting what the Prophet he said about it? Because they don't want to show you what Muhammad he meant. They fabricate the meaning to make it fit with their propaganda and their false agenda. But suddenly, the Muhammad interpretation of the Quran is not important, and nobody is quoting this. Why we cannot find one Muslim? Making a video about this to show us the miracle here. Because it's stupid. Do we have any Abdul who don't agree? Any Abdul don't agree? So please, Muslims, if you want to refute me, I mean, be, take it easy on me. You are, you are being tough. This is too much. This is too much, seriously. You guys are very, very aggressive. We cannot refute you. Christians are weak. You have the most strong religion. The only religion, the God of this religion, he says, that if Allah, he made you forget Quran, Allah will make better Quran or similar. <laughs> you guys, how many of you got my book? Oh, one of them, let us see. The Deception of Allah. Guess what? I'm going to cause you to forget the deception of Allah and I will make something similar. <laughs> what the heck? What do you mean you will make something similar or something better? Are you telling me that your Arabic was not good and you are trying to improve it? You took a class somewhere? Uh, did you like get a degree now? So you are going to make something better? Are you saying to me Allah will make Quran better than the Quran? So are we going to see like a, a competition? American Idol? We have Allah video from last year making Quran. And then we have Allah from this year making Quran. And then Allah from this year, he is going to give us Quran better than the Quran of last year. I mean, that's amazing. That's astonishing. Can you make Quran like this Quran? Allah Himself is going to make Quran better than the Quran. That's amazing. And the funny, not only that, the Muslim they say to you that we Muslim memorize the Quran when the Quran, Quran <laughs> says that no, Allah will make the Quran, Muslim forget the Quran. Allah will make you forget the Quran and you Muslim you say we never forget the Quran. So Allah is lying, don't you? Are you saying that? Allah will cause to for Quran to be forgotten. Okay, which Quran you forgot? Tell me Muslims. 
And why Allah will make you forget the Quran? So Allah will make abrogate. He will abrogate. Okay, we got this one. Let it go. Or cause to be forgotten. If, 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 if. And then we are going to do, look at the solution now. Allah, look what's happening here. Allah, he created the problem and he will fix it by himself. So we are going to substitute something better or similar. Better or similar. This is the most horrible statement for a stupid person to say. Why you want to make me forget the Quran to make similar Quran? Are you crazy? Are you stupid? But what happened here? Muhammad is trying to cover the problem of him forgetting Quran. So in order to say, okay, well, you know, I did not forget the Quran because of uh, like uh, because I'm a, a false prophet, uh, you know, etc. Uh, no, he want to claim that this is Allah wish. Allah, he want me to forget the Quran. It was Allah making the prophet forgetting the Quran. And this is as you see this is Quran speaking this is not uh, weak and uh, etc you know and by the way and this is this is uh, 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 this is a contradiction for a verse in the Quran it says uh, uh, you know uh, we are going to re make you recite and you will not forget Allah uh, this is this is contradiction are we going to make him forget or we are going to make him not to forget huh? which one Stupid statement as usual, but nothing new. Let us see. Let us see. Hold on. I'm not sure why. All right, let us make it exactly and go there. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with this uh, website. Here we go. Chapter 87, verse number 6. So we are going to make a recite, and we will not let you forget. So how Muhammad, he says, Allah caused me to forget the Quran. Huh? And you shall not forget. You see it? So one verse saying we will make you forget the Quran, the other one saying we will not make you forget the Quran. And there's a hadith actually, Muhammad he said, once he was like walking by somewhere and he heard a Muslim reciting Quran. So Muhammad he said to him, Allah bless you, you remind me of verses totally I forgot about, about them. You see it? And look at the first translation of the Muslim. They said, I missed. It doesn't say that. It says, I forgot. Here we go. Read with me. Allah Apostle heard a man reciting the Quran at the night, and he said, May Allah bestow his mercy on you, on him, as has reminded me of such and such verses and such and such surahs I was caused to forget. Do you see it? But the Quran said, we will give you recitation and you will not forget them. But Muhammad, he confirmed that he forgetting Quran. So now if this guy, he did not recite those verses or he did not memorize them, Muhammad, he will never know them again. Anyway, I think we had enough for today. I just wanted to give this guy a spank. Uh, uh, today, tomorrow I, I will try to do live broadcasting. I, I don't really promise, but I will try. Uh, like I have time before before I leave, uh, but depend on how much busy I will be. All right. So I want to say thank you guys for coming, and uh, uh, please don't convert to Islam while I am away because this is astonishing religion. I mean, this is amazing. Look at this. We have a prophet who says something in the morning he forgot it afternoon. But he's amazing. He make Quran. Nobody can make Quran like him.
Can you make Quran like this? Can you? I need a lot of time to make Quran like this. I will try to make Quran about you know sperm coming from the brain. You know, because a Razi, Abu Bakr Razi, who is a biggest scholar in Islam, he said that the verse chapter 86, verse number seven. Is not really speaking about the ribs is coming the sperm of the women from there no it is the brain and what is the proof he said yes in, in, in a language way it means the ribs but the fact he means it's the upper side so this guy he go more extreme and he say that the sperm is coming from the brain why because he said if you look at the baby when he's born and newborn he looked the same as the cell of the brain I mean look at this intelligence from the brain and not only that he go extreme more and he says and it might be the hand and by the way i noticed that something fishy about my hand i have to admit you know like okay try to have sexual relationship with your wife and cut your hand before you do it just to throw it try it try it let us see if you are going to have a sperm i mean you see that the scars of islam they are scholars those are the scholars they think the sperm is coming from the brain or the hand So uh, women, if you would like to know where the sperm is coming from, cut your hand. Your hand and the hand of your husband, you will be hand free. <laughs> Don't forget to take a video for memory, because this will be the last time you have hands. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I love Islam. Islam is so beautiful. So cute. So cute. I mean, um, it is astonishing. Who can? You cannot resist this. You cannot it's like magic science versus strong language versus intelligence versus poetry versus music that's why the Muslim they bring you somebody he have a nice voice and he sing and you say like wow this is sound good but Abdul the guy that guy if you give him anything a song about excuse my language about shit the song that his voice will look good what about you you give me you, you give me the recitation of the Quran by Zakir Naik so we can laugh if we give a, a guy who have a nice voice, whatever he sing is going to go to be good, even if he's singing about shampoo. Is that correct? Let me try to sing. Hello, it's me you're looking for. You Muslims like Betty for. I'm going to shut you down and I'm going to close my door. Hello. Hello, how ignorant are you? How dumb and stupid all of you. Shame on Muhammad, shame on you. Hello. Like, come on. Sing the Quran. That would not make the Quran a smart book. You can fool those who do not speak Arabic. Wow, the guy, he have a nice voice. But if they knew how stupid the Quran, then the voice would not match. <sighs> anyway, I hope we have enough for today. Uh, have you guys, did you have a good time? Did you have a good time? I hope so. If you don't have a good time, you know, uh, then uh, what I can do, I'm getting, uh, you know, uh, uh, I will next time I sing, I'm going to, uh, you know, drink camel urine and uh, eat honey. Camel urine, eat honey, a perfect match. You know, imagine yoni, honey and urine. This is the only religion who forbid people from eating pork and advertise for urine. Like you open the Islamic TV, it is a urine day, brothers and sisters. Let us follow the steps of the Prophet and drink urine. We will count one, two, three. Today we have a race of how many cup of urine you can drink. The one who die first from drinking acid, he will be our hero. Urine? It is an acid. Abdul, it's an acid. How you drink acid? To do what? You will have a kidney failure. You will die. Anyway, 
this is Islam. What I can say, you know, actually, uh, I, I don't, I don't welcome Muslims in my house because it's very embarrassing. What if a Muslim come to my house and I serve him coffee? You might get upset because this is the drink of the kuffar. He said to me, "Where is the urine? What I will do now? I will lie to him, go and get him some urine from my bathroom, and tell him this is a camel urine. I cannot do that. That's cheating." Yeah, the same as the water of Zamzam. Zamzam, the Muslim, they say it's a holy water. You can go right now and see the search. They study the water of Zamzam. They, they found it poisoning water, full of arsenic. Each time you drink a cup of the water of Zamzam, the same as if you smoke one box of cigarette. Do you believe it? Zamzam for every citizen in the coming election. Thank you guys for watching. Feel free to download my video, share it with your friends, and I hope to see you tomorrow if I can. If not, I will load my coming video from China. And by the way, I will try to make my coming video in Chinese. I hope I will not be arrested uh, uh, by the Chinese police because in some area, you know, the, the, the funny about China, they have signs that says don't uh, like use camera here, but how you will know it says that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how you will know? I don't speak Chinese. Nobody speak Ch nobody uh, nobody speak English. <laughs> so imagine you are using the camera and you're like you're having fun and you are happy, and then the, the police they come and they arrest you and they take you to investigate what you are doing. You must be a spy. Why? I'm just doing. I want to do YouTube. No, don't you see the sign? Big sign that says no camera restriction. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, may the Lord bless you all. And I feel sorry for this Muslim. Trust me, I'm not trying. Uh, 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 my purpose is not to make fun of you. But you know what my purpose is. Is to expose the lies and to show the truth. And I say, I think, after all the reference we showed you, we showed you Ibn Kathir. We showed you the dictionary. I mean, what else I can do? So it's a shame that we lie just to cover a bad mistake in the Quran. God bless you and see you soon again. Bye-bye. Good night.